Okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hi there, guys. It's Foxglove, and tonight we are doing our rune study group for Nowdiz, which is the end stave. And uh, this is... Now, this rune, I was really nervous about starting, because since I started doing this rune group, the runes have started been bothering me every single week. Whatever rune we're going over is the rune that just summarizes my week. And so I was very, very nervous about starting the uh, Now It Is Week um, because it's, it's considered, it's called the Need Rune or the Need Fire Rune. And it, at first I thought it, from some of my preliminary readings, it sounded like a really, really negative rune. Um, because it has this idea of constraint and of limited resources, um, resistance, distress, um, various adversity in, in just coming up against this, this solid wall of just disaster. But that's not actually the case. Um, while yes, all of these things are true, it's not necessarily as negative as it sounds at first. Um, it, it has the, all of this adversity is to uh, toughen you up, make you what well, does not kill us make it makes us stronger. Um, it has to do with our fate. It has to do with um, the reason why all of these things are in our way is these are superf uh, superfluous things, things that are getting in our way. And by getting in our way, we realize that we realize what we do need, and that there are things around us that may, we may want, we may. Um, we may like to have, but are not, when you go down to the very essence of your being, what you need. Um, and that's what this rune is, is paring away all the excess and finding out what it is you need. And um, as you can see in some of the rune poems, some of the things that they talk about are you need clothes, you need shelter, you need food, you need sleep. Uh, and so this is kind of having all those other things that you don't actually need, kind of whapping you in the face and saying, you don't need me, you don't need me, you don't need me, and all the things that you need, kind of just sitting there and waiting for you to get it. Um, it's also, so with this idea of it being your baseline, all the things that you absolutely 100% need to be a happy, healthy, whole person, it also brings in this idea of fate, um, finding out what you're good at and using that um, to find out what it is you're going to do with your life. Um, because in making any choice in life, you're kind of cutting off other options. And while that sounds scary, by cutting off those other options, you're, say, you're kind of like pruning the tree of your life and saying, I want to go in this direction. Not this one, not this one, I want to go this way. And by pruning off that excess and going in the direction that you want to go in, then you have a healthier, a healthier tree going towards your goals. And yeah, you need to give up some of the things that you don't need for your desires to come to pass, your fate to come into being. And so any, any of this resistance and, and limitations are really there to help serve you grow, serve to help you grow. Um, it also has this idea of the shadow or the dark part of yourself. And that's something that nobody really wants to deal with. Um, but it's something that we need to come to terms with. There are parts of ourselves that we just don't like dealing with and we kind of push them away. And you have to integrate those to be a whole person. And so this rune also talks about how you need to be a whole person in order to fulfill your destiny. And things that are preventing you from doing that are going to fly up in your face when you're working with this room. Uh, this also has to do with, so because of that it has to do with patience. Um, and you also have this idea of necessity being the mother of invention. So when you get down to those bare bones, that's when you have this great outpouring of creativity. It's it's. This is something that I always describe a wand as, is um, it kind of gathers it all in together and pushes it out into the universe. And so it's constraint not to limit yourself, but to go further. Um, 
And so it's actually kind of a fun rune. <laughs> now that you look at it, when you finally look at it and kind of get that it's not trying to like stifle you, but actually trying to help focus you. Um, the fun thing that I learned from some of my readings is that uh, you can actually use it as a protection rune as well. And you can use it to keep people from kind of hampering you and pulling you down and doing all those negative things that I thought nowadays was about by drawing it on, well, they would draw it on their drinking horns um, so that women wouldn't be false to them. And they would also draw it on the backs of their hands and on their fingernails. And so uh, what I like to do this might be a more girly thing than a guy thing, but I, I like to paint runes on my fingernails um, to help me do various works with them. Um, for the month of October, I painted a whole bunch and based on the idea of palmistry and the idea of what the fingers represented, um, I painted a whole bunch of runes on for um, us having a really great October and um, various things like that. But you could do the nowadays on there um, to help focus your work and to make sure that other people aren't going to try to impose their ideas of who you should be onto the things that you want to do. Um, and now, just want to remind you, that's just my view of this rune. If you have a view on this rune, write it in the comments section, repost a response video. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Um, does anybody online have anything to say about it? Now, Phoenix says that she knows guys who would put the runes on their fingernails. Well, yeah, I guess that you could... Guys do do the nail polish thing, too, but... You know, gotta be strong in, in your masculinity. Either that or just have a really masculine nail polish. I suppose, like, a black or a red would be kind of masculine, huh? Anything else, or should I move on to the associations? Moving on to the associations, it is. All right. So, the associations for now it is. And again, these are just what came up in my research. Um, if you have a different opinion, definitely share it in the comments or repost the video. I would love to see it. Um, the deity associations are the norms. Um, the three sisters of fate, especially Skull, which is the one that uh, looks into the future. And so you can kind of see where that idea comes from. It's kind of self-explanatory. Um, the stones associated with nowadays are lapis lazuli as well as obsidian. Um, and if you guys want to share with me the meanings of lapis lazuli and obsidian, I would really appreciate that so that we can discuss if they are good for nowadays or if there is a better stone out there. If you guys have one that you think is better for nowadays, definitely comment or repost a video about stones and nowadays. I'd love to hear it. Um, or comment in the chat if you're watching live. Um, the tree is the Rowan, and I don't know very much about the Rowan, so share with me information about that. Um, the plant is the snake root, or crocus. Now, I love crocus because it's the, that spring plant. Apparently it's edible. Don't quote me on that, but, um, uh, other than that, I don't know very much about it. So, share some information with me. I'll lay some wisdom on me. Um, its number is ten. I'm starting to get concerned about some of the numbers that I've been getting because I think that they're just numbering them according to, like, this is, like, A would be 1, B would be 2, and then you get, like, the 26 letters of the alphabet. At first I thought it was numerological. Now I'm starting to think differently. Um, so I don't know what numerological association nowadays would have. Um, I'm pretty sure that numerology only goes from 0 does it go from 0 to 9 or from 1 to 9? From 1 to 9? Alright, so 0 isn't even a numerological thing. That's kind of jerky. Kind of? Kind of sort of? Sometimes. <laughs> Dep depends on who's doing it. Kind of like weird, huh? Because <laughs> sometimes it's a rune, sometimes it's not. We're not having that argument tonight. Please don't start it. <laughs> um, its color is black. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, its element is fire. Its polarity is female. Um, that makes sense too, because girls will always tell you what you don't want to hear. <laughs> but need to know. Um, its astrological correspondence is the sign of Capricorn. 
um, and its planet is Saturn. Um, again, like I said last week, I'm not big on the astrology, so any astrologers out there, definitely um, bring in some wisdom, comment, or repost a video about Capricorn or Saturn. Um, we want to learn more about that. You can also ask Al during Al's astrology study group. Um, he'll tell you all about that. Um, the tarot card associated with nowadays is the devil or justice. Um, I've heard a lot of not so nice things about using the devil as nowadays because he's more of a trickster figure. Um, but justice seems like it would be more under the realm of Jera or Rado. So I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, maybe we'll bring it up in our tarot discussion. Uh, because we do those on Fridays. We have tarot, the comparative tarot on Fridays, and maybe I'll bring in some runes. They won't like that. <laughs> um, and then the healing association is with the arms, which I don't really get. Um, I suppose now it's going to have something to do with arms. Um, but I don't really know what else I would put as... Uh, the healing association for now it is because it's need. Maybe the stomach or things to do with that area. Um, that'd be my thing. If anybody knows more about the healing associations with runes, definitely post a comment or repost a video and we'll learn more about it. Is anybody saying anything over there? No? Just general chitter chatter? Excellent. Um, Oh, the only other thing that I'd like to add with this is this idea of um, now does as the need fire, uh, a fire that we build for emergencies. Um, and for the Norse, that was a very, a very real and immediate thing because of all the, the snow and the ice and the horrible. Um, and normally we'd know all about that here in New England, where we are. Um, but it's been a very mild winter, so I don't think that anybody around these parts would really care to think about it. Um, but I was thinking about a modern interpretation of that need fire, possibly a road flare, um, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, it's very hot, very sparkly, and um, it shows people that you're in distress, in danger, and you lack resources to fix your car. <laughs> um, and so I think that that would be the modern equivalent of the need fire, in my opinion. If you guys have a different opinion, definitely post it, just definitely do a reposted video or a comment below. Um, and now again, I want to ask you guys if there's a song that you think that will go with Now It Is. I can't think of anything. Um, but then again, I don't listen to a lot of music. Um, so if you guys have any good musical suggestions for Now It Is, I'd like to hear them. Um, or really any other associations that you can think of. Um, repost a video or comment below. Um, or say it in chat if you're here live. Um, yeah, and if there's nothing else, then that's it for now. Is. Anybody online have anything to say before we go? The Phoenix says she wishes she lived closer to Salem. Oh, well, I wish you lived closer to Salem too, Phoenix. But anybody who is here in Salem can join us um, for any of our study groups. We've got this one, um, Monday nights at 7, and if you're in Salem... Definitely come by, join us. I'd like to have a real person sitting here chatting with me about runes. Um, then we can go out to coffee or something afterwards. Very exciting. Um, <laughs> all right. But other than our, our lack of Salem visitors, then I think that's it for nowadays. Um, next week, unfortunately, I will not be in. I'm getting kidnapped by my family. Um, so I will be with them. But the week after that, we're going to be doing Isa, the ice. Um, so not next week, but the week after that, Isa. I will see you then. Phoenix says good job. Oh, thanks, Phoenix! Mm -hmm.